What is going on, Technology family, and welcome back to another episode of the Technology News Talk. And today, we got two movie reviews for you guys today, and uh, also some updated news uh, we all for this week. So, let's start out with the top with these uh, the two movie reviews for, for today. The first one is going to be on uh, Beast, and this one stars uh, Idris Elba. Tells the story of uh, uh, Idris Elba playing a widow husband who, ta who takes a trip to South Africa with his daughters. But gets interrupted by a rogue lion that stalks them. So, when I first uh, 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 thought of this movie, I thought of of Cujo. Y'all remember Cujo, the Stephen King movie? Yeah, that's why uh, that's my first thought of uh, of this movie. So, um, yeah. So, I at times I it kind of felt like a um like an indie uh, the, the, the passion project uh, movie at times, but um. But overall, it was a, it was really good for uh, uh, for its um for its moments uh, when you think when 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 the lion was, was gonna come and for the for the scare uh, scare 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 jump cut moments. Yeah, it was definitely good for for, for those moments and um yeah and um yeah, injuries ever did did great and um uh, and uh, and also the fighting the lion and um. The girls who who plays his daughter said that they put a, they did a really good job too and uh, um uh, playing uh, playing the roles as well and also um uh the girl's uncle who, who was in this movie who was a um a wildlife biologist who was also a friend of uh, uh Idris Elba's character uh and he also had like um was a a lion expert and in, uh, in the movie so um yeah, this was a uh, it was uh, it was really good for for uh, for for what it, uh, for what it was, and um, yeah, and uh, the some of the uh, the oppressors of the movie like the some of the uh, press of the movie they were stuck in and um and um in a truck, and uh, like for the for 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 some for some most parts of the movie, and um yeah, so yeah, but um. Yeah, but other than that, it, uh, it was definitely uh, uh, well worth uh, worth watching. Like, it's not like it was the the, the best um, monster movie of all, of all time, but like, but it was but it was good for uh, for, 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 for for what it was. Like, um, some of y'all might go into this movie like, uh, oh, this is not the the beast movie you're looking for, but um, but still, you you'll still have a great time on while watching the movie. But um, but other than that, uh, I give it a a, a B plus grade. Uh, definitely a good movie for worth, worth worth to watch, yeah. So, and my second uh, movie review will be on the latest um uh, project from the uh, Dragon Ball Super series, and that's Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Yeah. So, and um, I will say this: don't go in there expecting to see a lot of of uh, Goku and, and Vegeta. Nah. Don't expect it on there. It's just mostly about uh, Piccolo and um, and Gohan. They're, they're, this is mostly uh, their, their their story, okay? So just letting y'all know uh, about that. And um, overall, um, uh, uh, it was really good. Uh, like um, uh, the the story, the fight scenes, uh, the chemistry between Gohan and Piccolo. But um, the only bad thing I would say about this is, is the animation. Some of the animations uh, parts, I was like, what? Like, yeah, it would definitely have you like, well, what is going on at some scenes? So, but um, yeah, other than that, the, the, this is a really good um, uh, movie. But some of y'all who are who are anime fans, and definitely for y'all and Dragon Ball fans, uh, it would be a for you guys to check it out. And I, and I say, like, if you are, even if you are not an anime fan, yeah, I recommend for you guys to check this out. So, but um, other than that, great movie, and um, yeah, definitely you uh, to check this out. I would definitely give it a, a, a A grade. Yeah, and that's all the movie reviews I have for you guys to, to today. So, um, let's get into these uh, mainstream uh, 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 news uh, topics for today. So, um, uh, first one up, we're gonna discuss. Is that you will expect a much lighter tone in Daredevil? Says the the she she Hulk writer, and this is uh, coming from uh, Bonding into Comics. After a briefing note that Matt Murdock, actor Charlie Cox, was so wonderful and so game to do whatever, 
and he's such a wonderful actor and a wonderful human being Gal then revealed that what was so fun about bringing him and Daredevil into our world that is people that have already seen a Daredevil who is very dramatic and a little bit on the heavy side very dark and very brooding and it was so fun to be able to do and we do this with every character cameo from the MCU is we take them from the environment that you know them from which is a much more dramatic and action or organic role much more on the serious side and we bring them to our world and they get to play in the tone of She-Hulk and then got to explore and we got and we get to see a lighter side of that character now I will say this like that's fine if you want to give, well, you give it a lighter tone in like other projects but when it comes to like um, the to the new uh, the, the Daredevil series it better be dark that's all I gotta say keep it dark because you're gonna have Kingpin in that, in that thing so keep it uh, dark as it is like for example like Moon Knight like keep it dark as it is like don't make it too light okay if you want to keep it light light for, for like for Daredevil's main uh, uh, cameo appearance this year, She-Hulk, that's fine. But when it comes to the uh, Daredevil uh, alone, alone series, please make it dark. Please. That's all I got to say. Moving on. Saw 10 is coming in October 2023, says Saw Sis director. And this is coming from Variety. There's more Saw to cut through in 2023. As Lionsgate and Twisted Pictures have just announced their next installment of the billion dollar franchise will arrive in a new slate, new movie slate for October 27, 2023. This will also be the 10th movie in the highly successful franchise. The film will be directed by Kevin uh, Gertie, who has held Saw uh, 6 in 2009 and Saw the final chapter in 2010. While serving as the editor for the first five installments and Jigsaw says uh, uh, two, uh, in 2017. Now, when I think of like the Saw movies, I think of it as a low budget uh, the indie uh, horror film. Like uh, the last um, Saw movie that they did was uh, with Spiral. I think that uh, that was the one movie that uh, they put more um, a budget uh, uh, into it just because uh, the the uh, the star power that was in that movie with Chris Rock and um. And Samuel L. Jackson. But overall, the, uh, like, I, like, I, like I mentioned, like Saw, Saw is definitely uh, a billion dollar franchise just because of the pop culture it got uh, the being a, um, a most likable uh, horror franchise. Uh, a series based on his uh, blood, and, uh, blood and gore and his uh, traps, uh, uh, it goes from the Jigsaw uh, character and Billy the puppet character, like, so, um, and I really thought Saw the Final Chapter was gonna be the final movie, so, um, I don't know, like, um, I don't know if it, uh, the, this upcoming uh, Saw movie is gonna continue from, I, I, I it gotta continue from, um, from the Jigsaw uh, 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 movie, so, um, I don't know. Like, is it gonna continue from, from 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 Spiral? We don't know. We don't know the story yet. Well, uh, hopefully, uh, we'll know the story soon by the end of 2022 or in the beginning stages of 2023. So, so yeah, now uh, kind of interested in um in Saw 10. Let's see uh, what kind of traps and uh, more bloody gore they're gonna give us. And uh, moving on. John Wick prequel series the the Condiment is coming to Peacock in 2023, and this is what Screen Rant has reported. The Continent is now set to debut on Peacock, as Lionsgate has struck a deal with the streamer to debut exclusively on the platform in 2023. Kelly Campbell, president Peacock and direct to direct to consumer said of the deal is that by bringing this special event series to Peacock and putting the full power of NBC Universal behind it. The premiere of the continent will be the streaming event of the year. A specific release date 
has yet to be revealed, but the Continental three-part special event series is expected in 2023, likely to follow on the heels of the release of John Wick Chapter 4, which is slated to debut on March 24th, uh, 2023. So, you already know. I'm already, I'm uh, excited for the for the Continent series, and I'm excited for uh, for for John Wick uh, the Chapter 4. So, it's gonna be a, a good uh, year in 2023. So, uh, and um, uh, moving on. The Flash is uh, Idris, Idris Miller issue an apology begins mental health treatment, and this is what Variety has to say. In a statement provided to Variety by the representative of the actor, Miller broke their silence about the troubled behavior that they have exhibited in recent years, which led to a series of legal issues and assaults and abuse allegations. Miller also apologizes for their actions, having recently gone through a time of intake crisis, now I now understand that I am suffering from complex mental health issues, and I have began an ongoing treatment. Miller says, "I want to apologize to everyone that I have alarmed and upset with my past behavior. I am committed to to do, doing a necessary work to get back to a healthy and safe and productive stages in my life." So. So yeah, uh, finally we got some understanding of uh, why uh, Israel Miller been doing all this crazy junk. So like, so yeah, so I kind of understand well, what what mental mental health is serious because uh, like, uh, especially if you guys watch the um the the the, the Joker movie with um <clears throat> for Joaquin Phoenix because uh, uh his character uh, focuses a lot on on, on mental health uh, issues. So yeah, so. Uh, now I understand uh, though well, what he's going through now well, well, with mental health too. So uh, hopefully he gets the uh, the treatment and the help that he needs because like uh, like I mentioned before, if he does great, then he might uh, be able to uh, stay as a Flash. But uh, like I said, that's up to um, Wonder Brothers Discovery decision. So uh, let's see uh, well, what's gonna happen from from that. Okay, so uh, moving on. Christian Bale and Margot, Margot Robbie and John David Washington's movie um, Amsterdam has been moved up to October. Hmm, that's interesting. And um, this is what Deadline has to say. Disney, which uh, this movie is, um, uh, is, is by uh, the 20th, the 20th Century Studios and, um, and New uh, Regime. So, um, so... They are filling the desert that is left uh, at the fall boss uh, fall boss office by moving up the movie uh, Amsterdam to Oct October seventh. The pit was uh, previously scheduled to open on November fourth. The pit was also received a, a name title and dropped the trailer on April's uh, CinemaCon. It's set in the uh, in the thirties that follows three friends who witness a murder and become suspect themselves and uncover one of the most outrageous plots in American history. The Russell D Durant, written and produced uh, film stars as the murderous role of talent, including Christian Bale, Margot Robbie, John David Washington, Robert De Niro, Chris Rock, Andrea uh, Ro Robinson, sorry, Anna T Tyler Joe, M Michael Shannon, Mike Myers, Taylor Swift, Zoe Zardana, and Remy Mack. So... That's kind of interesting. Uh, they they move it up to October seventh. Let's see uh, how they do in the box office uh, numbers and um and, and for sure uh, this movie got to be good because I because I can see um Oscar and um and go to Globe attendance here. So yeah, let's see how they do in uh, uh, how they perform in in, uh, in their new uh, release date. So uh, moving on, Joanna Hill. Won't be doing promotions for his movies anymore. Hmm. Let's see for what Variety has to say. Through this journey of self-discovery within the film, I have come to the understanding that I have spent nearly 20 years experiencing anxiety attacks, which are excuperating by the media uh, appearances in public-facing events. Hill wrote about debuting a documentary spots in his upcoming fall at the upcoming fall uh, film festivals 
The movie features Hill and his therapist uh, openly discuss his mental health issues. You won't be seeing me out there promoting this film or any of my upcoming films. While I take this uh, important step to protect myself, he'll continue and I made myself sicker by going out there and promoting it. I won't be acting true to myself or to the film. So, I, again, when it comes to mental issues, I understand no, 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 where, where he's coming from. And um, now I'm moving on. HBO Max to remove a bunch of uh, 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 unperforming content. And this is what Variety has to say. As we work towards bringing our content catalogs together under one p p platform, we will also be making changes to the, con uh, to the content offering available to both HBO Max and, and Discovery Plus. HBO Max treatment reads, there will be including a removal of some content from both platforms, taking off titles from the streaming that would also help Warner Brothers Discovery cut costs by removing less watched programs to save money on resident. And as that date or time when the titles will be taken off has not been announced. So recently I saw that they took away the whole Sesame Street catalog. I'm like, what? Because uh, like some of the kids might want to watch uh, Sesame Street, but, but, but that's okay. We still got Cartoon Network. We still got Crunchyroll. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, we still got Boomerang. So, that's fine. So, but um, let's see what else they're going to be with we're, we're, we're movies soon. That's what I call the Wonder Brothers Discovery, uh, Wonder Brothers Discovery Budget Cuts. That's why I call it. And um, so, uh, moving on. S.H.I.E.L.D. star pitches a Deadpool uh, appearances. And this is what comic book reader has to say. While it's been some time before the Merc with a mouth arrives in the cinematic universe, She-Hulk attorney uh, at, at Law Star Tatiana and uh, Miss Lonnie shared an idea regarding a crossover with Deadpool. During an interview with Kevin uh, McCarthy, Milani uh, was asked if she could imagine both characters talking to the audience in a scene. Yeah. Yeah, it here is like, and a very method thing. Miss Lonnie answered, "Deadpool's from Regina, uh, Sketchman, right? He is, which is where I am from. So, like, there is a a, a method to, to to be a situation. I think we should both be in Regine, but I am Ted in Regine, and Deadpool is Deadpool, but then it's Ryan Reynolds, and it's She Hulk." And we get really freaky uh, with it. So, um, uh, we all know Deadpool is coming soon, but it's just a matter of when. We don't know because we still have to try to figure out when the movie is going to come. So, we did have a little glimpse, um, uh, uh, hints, uh, about the movies in the MCU. So, but, um, it's just a matter of when. So, I'm just going to uh, leave it at that. And, um, Disney Plus quietly removes Avatar, and this is what What's on Disney Plus has to say. Disney has quietly removed the epic 20th Century Studios uh, film Avatar from Disney Plus worldwide without informing subscribers in advance. While Disney uh, regularly moves 20th Century Studios titles from Disney Plus in the U.S. due to their previous uh, contracts with other streaming uh, services, this removal has happened globally. Removing a film from Disney Plus ahead from its theatrical release has probably been done to try to encourage more people to go see it in the cinema before the uh, sequel uh, the, arrives. But um, everybody knows how uh, great um, a, a, a Avatar movie is, and, and we've been pitching for uh, for everyone. Well, we've been wanting a sequel. We've been wanting a sequel. So um, we feel we finally get a sequel. But um, I don't think it's a bad thing to remove it from um uh, from, from, from Disney Plus because like we all know what the first movie is about. We're, we're just just waiting on the second movie to come out. That's all we've been waiting for. That's a uh, uh, enough said about that. But um, but it's okay. It's fine. It's not like it's gonna hurt us because like 
for some for some of you uh, Disney World fans, you, you already go to uh, Pandora, the World Avatar, in Animal Kingdom. So we got that to uh, to experience, but um, no worries because uh, listen, uh, uh, December is gonna be here before you know it, and uh, you know what I'm saying. So uh, we're we're not worried. We're all we we're, we're just waiting for for Avatar two uh, the, the, the to come out in December. So. That not not a big deal f from that, but um, um, I will say it will be coming back soon uh, to uh, to Disney Plus. It, it's just a temporary thing. So, but yeah, um, uh, uh, moving on. More Jurassic movies is coming with a new cast, and this is what Bryce Dallas Howard had to say. It's very sad to say goodbye to something so wonderful, but also I am very excited for the folks. Who will carry the Jurassic saga uh, forward? You know, it will be with a large different cast and all that, and that's something that will be celebrated. I know, as a fan, I want to see uh, uh, moving forward, and I hope it comes to fruition. I really do. So, if they do make more of the, the Jurassic uh, films. Uh, like like Brad Dallas how how I said, like it definitely probably gonna be a, a different cast because um the first trilogy of the Jurassic Park and the first trilogy of Jurassic World was so uh, was uh, connected was connected together. Um so and so I don't know if that's gonna be connected into the next trilogy if they want if they want to do or uh in the Jurassic series, because I um we're still getting the uh the camp of uh, Jurassic uh the Jurassic Park uh series on Netflix, so um if they want to do a live action on that, they can. But like I don't know what they're gonna do in the next um uh the next uh, Jurassic Park uh, live action um uh, series. But um we'll just have to wait and see if they know uh, what they're gonna do. But um. But yeah, other than that, that's all I have for you guys today for this episode. But um, and uh, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, uh, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell where new episodes are uploaded. And don't forget to post your comments down below and let me know what your thoughts on the topics I discussed today. And of course, if you're listening on Anchor, Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts, don't forget to, uh, to, to follow me there. And also go into the YouTube link in the description below and post your comments there as well. So without further ado, this is Trico and I'm signing off, y'all. Uh, peace.